This evening we've got the 10th annual Yamba Community Cane Toad Roundup where we invite people to come along and join us in trying to do a big reduction in the local cane toad population. There are very significant risks, just about everything which tries to eat a cane toad thinking it might be one of our native frogs is poisoned by them, plus they tend to eat quite a uh, large number of invertebrates and other insects which would normally be food for our native wildlife as well. They've got lizard or poison glands which are at the back of their head. They can also chew poison basically from the rest of their skin. And the only problem you might have hassles is if you grab them really, really hard, which we don't want you to do. What's happened is we actually started doing the roundup down in Gowrie, a few kilometres south of here. We only did it there for three years because we started to really reduce the cane toad population. So we've moved up to Yamba in the last few years and are doing it here. And the one-off hit is a sort of a, a local reduction, but we need to make more of a concerted effort to make a sustained drop in the population in this particular area. So yeah, I got your torch. Okay, that one's yours. We've certainly like the community become very aware of the cane toad problem and that's evidenced by the numbers we're getting to these roundups nowadays but not just to expect that a one-off uh, collection will really make a difference and we really need the community to pick the ball up and get out there and collect toads whenever they can.